Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Urvishi. Today in this video, I am going to be talking about the opposition of retrograde Mars to the solar eclipse we are having in August 2018 in the sign of Capricorn. So Mars is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn conjunct Ketu and uh, the Sun will be in the sign of Cancer. Uh, will be of course conjunct the moon and Rahu and Mercury. So uh, this is an important transit for the month of August and especially with this retrograde Mars in opposition to the sun. So this is what I'd like to be talking about. I'd also like to take it a little further to where Mars goes direct. So once again, welcome to everybody who's watching one of my videos for the first time and for, to those as well who have been watching my videos for all this while now. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. The subscription button is right here. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so I'll get back to the topic. So we've already had Mars now retrograde for the last one month uh, for the entire July because Mars went retrograde in the month of June. And uh, it's been a month now that Mars has been retrograde in the sign of Capricorn conjunct Ketu. And I'm, I'm pretty sure all of us have already felt uh the vibrations all of us must be getting the you know uh, feelers with this mass ketu conjunction with mass retrograde all of us would be getting the vibrations and feelings as to how this retrogression is going for us uh, just to touch this topic a little bit well mars is our action mars is our ambition mars is our desire mars is our energy mars is our courage mars is a very dynamic planet Mars is our will, uh, Mars is also the sexual energy. So when Mars goes uh, retrograde, all this uh, is less outward and more inward. Then we start uh, introspecting a lot more. We start uh, questioning our impulses more. We start doubting our impulses more. The energy we may feel more inside of ourselves. We do not want to express this energy too much because uh, there are doubts in our minds about our own actions we start doubting our own actions we there could be a little less confidence also during this time when mars is retrograde this is going to be there for another month i, I believe till the 27th or 28th of august mars is still retrograde for another month so this uh, will continue uh, this uh, time these two months we've already gone through this month one month of mars being retrograde we still have one more month to go to uh, we also going to be feeling uh, lethargic, lack of energy. Uh, we are going to be drawn to our previous relationships. Our minds will be thinking because Mars is also sexual energy. So we'd also be thinking about our previous relationships and uh, we'd also be thinking about our previous jobs and we'd also especially be thinking about previous encounters where we've had a bad confrontation, a bad argumentation, a bad argument. Uh, a dispute of some sorts and suddenly we may start feeling that uh, there was no reason for it that it could have been avoided and we may now want to go back during this retrograde motion we may now want to go back and rectify all that we may want to be in touch with those people once again people from our past we may want to go back and uh, set things right so I personally would suggest that we we wait because uh, it's a good thing to reconsider the past. It's a good thing to uh, think about the previous uh, uh, incidents in our life because we tend to learn from them. But uh, taking any kind of an action right now while Mars is still retrograde may seem a little wrong when Mars goes direct because then that anger, that frustration, uh, the bad feelings with that particular relationship with that particular confrontation that we've had with people previously might get come up and seem pretty important so once mars is retrograde the feelings may just come back about those situations being pretty important and right now they may seem uh, that uh, it may seem that we should go back and rectify those things it's it's good to rectify uh, you know bad relationships it's good to rectify bad confrontations but uh, we should do it when mars is direct when mars is in the action mode with a retrograde mars it's more about reviewing our past more about reviewing not just the past that will happen to us naturally it's more about reviewing our present projects the projects that we have presently the relationships that we are in presently the action that we are doing in our lives presently 
it's uh, mars goes retrograde so that we are able to review all that we are doing all the actions that we are presently doing mars uh, goes retrograde so that we can you know check our actions so that we can uh, reconsider if we are on track and uh, because sometimes we make wrong decisions sometimes we are on the wrong track and this is the time to check to review to reconsider so that when mars goes direct by that time we can correct our mistakes and uh, if they are mistakes we can correct them and you know give up certain projects in our life so that is what this uh, mars retrograde is all about especially if you are feeling uh, a lot of frustration during this retrograde period if your health suddenly shows issues you getting health issues if you feeling very low in energy if you feeling very frustrated if you feeling depressed uh if uh, you feeling extremely demotivated because the symptoms are generally going to be there but if the if the uh, effect is really extreme then it could mean that our present projects may be are not you know aligned to our life's purpose or our life's path so whatever our life's path is whatever we should be doing whatever the aims of our life is maybe our present projects are not aligned to that so mars goes uh, you know retrograde so that we can consider our present projects and present relationships and present actions and if they are aligned to our philosophy of life so that is what we are supposed to be doing and if you are having extreme symptoms really bad health accidents surgeries so all this happens so that uh, there is a delay in action so that we are not able to move further right now so that physically and emotionally there's a delay it's it's there to stop us for some time to make us think to make make us consider so if you're having these extreme symptoms then i suggest we stop and we reconsider whatever we're doing and uh, uh, decide on whether it's in harmony with our life's path our life's purpose but if you're having mild milder symptoms if you're just feeling a little lethargic like i've been feeling a little lethargic i i just don't want to do anything so if you if it's just mild symptoms then it's pretty normal even then yes you should be considering your present projects whatever you've been doing whatever you know you've started off late if anything you've started off late in the last one year or so so this is a time to be doing that and now this mars retrograde conjunct ketu uh, of course it's going to be a lot of uh, anger also that we internalize a lot of emotions that we internalize during this time because the confidence may be lacking a little bit for outward action so sometimes we just internalize we just uh, rough uh, energy that is pent up a lot of emotions that could be pent up a lot of anger rage that could be pent up and if that is happening again then it's time to reconsider whatever we're doing especially now since uh, we have mars in opposition to the sun this one month sun is in cancer so mars is in opposition to the sun whenever mars is in opposition to the sun because sun is a life path sun is our soul sun this is our soul's journey and mars is uh, our action our desires our ambitions the ones that we are having now so whenever mars is in opposition to the sun it's time to consider what we are doing and what we should be doing and with this solar eclipse happening because solar eclipses eclipses in fact uh hint towards transformations solar eclipses are transformations linked to our life paths and with this mars retrograde energy opposite to the sun a very 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 strong indication that we need all of us need to especially if you have are a cancer or a capricorn ascendant especially then or even if it's a Aries and Libra sign and because then it's in the 4th and axis. So the 4th and axis why am I saying the 4th and axis because the 10th house is up there in the heavens it's the most brightly lit area of our chart. It's uh it's the area of our life where the whole world can see it's the visible part of our lives. It's the karm sthan. So if it's in the 4th and axis if you are a Aries or a libra ascendant or if you are a cancer capricorn ascendant it's in the first seven axes then you definitely should be considering what your life's philosophy is and what you are doing presently and whether what you're doing presently is in harmony with what your philosophy or what your aim of life is so not only will we start 
uh, doubting our impulses but this is a great time to start calculating what our impulses are to start calculating our uh, the way we pursue our ambitions the how courageous we are how you know how good we are taking initiative are we taking initiative enough what are our dreams and ambitions uh, are we taking the right steps towards it are we being courageous or are we on the wrong track because uh, mars is action and uh, like i said the sun is our soul our life's path so this retrogression is about being a little more calculative about how we going about things how we moving ahead it may not be that big an issue uh, if you're going to take up a new job if you have a new assignment a new project or a new relationship but you may just not have the courage right now to take the right kind of action to be to you may not feel motivated enough to move forward you may not feel that you're uh, you know empowered enough that you have the right knowledge that you have the right skills so during this mass retrograde period you we may doubt your own self your own ability to take action so uh, it's about that you know lack of courage mostly so if you have if you are getting into a new project a new job that's perfectly all right but remember this is time this is a time to introspect whether you are you know properly equipped with whatever is required whether you this is in align to your long term dreams and ambitions whether this is aligned to your life's path whether this is what you want and if you blindly you know go on continuing doing what we have have been doing then we may be heading for a disaster so that is what this uh, retrograde mars is about especially now since it is in opposition to this uh, solar eclipse that we are having so this eclipse could either mean a breakthrough whatever you've been doing this eclipse could either mean that you are going to have a breakthrough and you suddenly uh, become successful in whatever you've been doing whatever project you you have or whatever relationship you're pursuing or it means you have obstacles and it's a complete failure now so it's time to reassess your actions it's a time it's time to reassess your skills your knowledge your confidence your courage it's time to uh, stop a little bit so whatever if if there are health issues if you're feeling lethargic if there are sudden a uh, little bit of an accident if you you know if you're lacking confidence it's all to slow you down it's all to slow us down so that we reconsider what we are doing it's time to reconsider with opposition to the solar eclipse this is like a major life changing uh, decision this is a major life changing decision so it's about uh, what we are doing and what we should do we need to understand the difference between what we are doing and what we should do are we aligned to our life's path if yes then great go ahead uh, the energy may still feel a little low for the next one month because mars is still going to be retrograde for another month but if you are not aligned to our life's path then it's time to let go of certain things in our lives and by the time mars is direct by the end of august uh, we will be able to move ahead with our projects so yes right now there could be a lot of frustration a lot of impatience would be setting in because things would not be moving forward things would be stagnating uh, a lot more there could be uh, you know anger issues suppressed anger suppressed emotions which could be le- leading to a little bit of a, a depression a little bit of a fear inside of things stagnating and not moving forward but that will all stop as soon as mars goes direct by the end of august by the 27th of august mars is going direct and even then we'll have to wait a little bit more because the disposit of mars saturn 2 is retrograde till about the 6th 7th of september and after that it's great going because mars is in this uh, uh, sign of capricorn so uh, another thing that uh, i'm reminded of uh, because mars is op- in opposition to the, uh, the solar eclipse and mars is in the sign of capricorn and the sign of capricorn suggests structures organization government career recognition position status so this uh, solar eclipse in opposition to this retrograde exalted mars is a big question mark about all these things in our lives i personally cannot comment on uh, what your life's path is you you have to be more connected to your inner self it's how much you are connected to your inner self will decide on how sure you are or how easily you are able to identify your life's path and then uh, you will only have to decide how further away your present actions or your present projects are away from your life's path so it's time for you to decide this is an important eclipse 
especially if like i said for all aryans uh, libra ascendants libra moon for uh, capricorn and cancer so for especially these four ascendants this is a major event even for the others uh, do consider the axis that mars and uh, the sun are on at the time of the eclipse so wherever your cancer and capricorn sign is consider what those houses signify and see how further away your present actions are uh, you know f f uh, away from the uh, motives of your life regarding that axis so that is all for now and remember once mars goes direct by the end of august things will be on track this is a great position for mars mars direct is action moving forward outward action the frustration is finally going to go away the lethargy is going to finish and uh, we can be more outward in actions we can be more expressive in actions the energy would be more out there the energy would be easier to handle but remember we still will have those 8 9 10 days till saturn 2 goes direct and as for how then it is going to be you know affecting all the ascendants mars in the sign of capricorn how this is going to be affecting all the ascendants i've already made a video on that i'm going to give the attachment uh, in the description and i'm going to be giving a link up here as well so you can go and check on how mars is going to be affecting all the ascendants once it goes direct right now the energy is more introverted and uh, with this eclipse happening right opposite it's time to reconsider what we are doing seriously about our lives about our ambitions it's time to do that so either we head for a breakthrough or we head for a failure in our lives all right we'll see you in the next video bye bye